Okay, question 14. So, a meteor has crashed into this ocean. It's creating a circular tidal wave. Now, I don't know my definition of a tidal wave here, but wouldn't that be that it's actually like caused by tides? Which certainly is not like a meteor crashing. Anyways, maybe it just means big wave. Um, it's traveling at 20 meters per second. What is the equation of the circle after 15 seconds? Remember, if it's moving out at 20 meters per second, then it starts at 20 and then quickly gets to 40 and 60 and 80, etc. So it's increasing in size and your equation is that the distance that it has moved is equal to the speed times the time. Distance, speed, time. So the distance is equal to the speed times the time, because so they're beside each other. This is equal to 15 times 20, which is 300. And that distance that this thing has traveled is now our radius. So the radius is 320. So that means that x squared plus y squared equals r squared, and 300 squared is 90,000. There's our equation. Now, after 15 seconds, OK, so 15 se after 15 seconds, there is a boat. Uh, 210 comma 210 and they want to know if it will be hit by the wave okay so I've already got my picture up here now 210 comma 210 is somewhere out here it might be there it might be there it might be there I'm not really too sure I need to figure out how far it is out so over 210 and up 210 is there somewhere I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem again so the distance to that boat squared is equal to 210 squared plus 210 squared and then I'll square root both sides, so the, get rid of the d squared. So 210 squared plus 210 squared is the square root of 88,200. And the square root of that answer is 296.98. Okay, that is really close to 300, but it is not quite 300. So the distance from the origin of this thing to the boat is only 296, and the wave's already at 300. So, therefore, yes, the boat is toast. Okay, because? Because it said explain. So because it is not as far from the epicenter as the wave is at 15 seconds. There's a good explanation. So the boat has been hit. This distance to the boat is less than the distance the wave has traveled. C, how long will it take the tidal wave to hit a city located at, so city is going to be 300, 250. Okay, so how long is this going to take? So once again, I am going to calculate the distance to that city. So 300 and 250 is like there. I'm going to calculate this distance. That's 300. This is 250. So the distance is going to be equal to the square root of 300 squared plus 250 squared. And I'll take the root of that answer, which is 152500, and get 390.5. So if you're getting a big number, make sure you've taken the square root after you add. This is the distance to the city. OK, now let's look back at that little triangle again. So we have distance on top and speed and time down here. Now when I want to calculate for either one of these, I have to do distance divided by time or distance divided by speed. Now they're looking for time, because I've already got speed, right? The speed of this wave is 20 meters per second. The distance here is 390 meters. So I take distance divided by speed, and that gives me time. So time is equal to 390.5 over 20, which equals. So take my answer that I had in my calculator already, divided by 20, and you get 19.52 or 19.5 seconds. Therefore, It will take 19.5 seconds for the wave to reach the city. It's not a lot of time.
Run, people, run.